Hi everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Today we wanted to share how you can easily make a resume or CV through Notion. Notion can allow you to publish an online, interactive, yet aesthetic resume that is also possible to export as a PDF. First, let's go over why you should use Notion for your resume or CV. There are so many other options out there from Microsoft Word and Resume Builders. What makes Notion unique is that it can allow you to store different versions in your workspace, share your resume or CV drafts to receive quick feedback from your friends, mentors, or colleagues, share your final resume or CV publicly to increase your online visibility, and finally, easily export as a PDF right from Notion. We recommend you to start with our free package to explore our free templates and to learn more about Notion. When you feel that you would like more templates for your needs without having to build it yourself, check out our pro package. Both free and pro packages also include a custom cover photo set that you can use to make your resume and CV stand out. To get started, go to our template bundle by clicking the Gumroad button on our website. We'll leave a link in the description. Once you have entered all of your information, you'll be able to access the contents from your email. You'll see both the resume templates and the cover photo set. Go to the resume template and click duplicate to duplicate it to your workspace. Once you've chosen your resume template, we recommend you to customize our Notion resume template to fit your unique personalities and skills. You should also consider the job requirements as some jobs are more related to the creative field while others require more professional presentation. The first step is to select your professional portrait photo to replace the black and white avatar currently used in the resume template. Before uploading, check your Notion plan or file upload size since the free Notion plan has the maximum file upload of 5 megabytes. Once you find the right picture, follow these steps. If the template has the photo in the icon section, click at the icon and replace with your own picture. The photo size recommended is 280 by 280 pixels. If the template has the photo in the separate embed box, right-click at the picture, click Replace, and upload your photos accordingly. It may take more experimenting to find the right photo size. Note that if you don't want to use the template avatar, simply click on the icon and remove it. Fonts can be changed on your Notion page by clicking the three dots on the top right corner of your page. There are three font choices in Notion at the moment which are Default, Serif, and Mono. Choose the one that fits your personality. Otherwise, you can use text styling tools, but we don't recommend to use these tools since on some devices the text might not appear in the right format and it would not create a professional image of your resume. In the same place, you can also choose if you want small text, normal layout, or full width layout. This will greatly determine the design of your resume. A great way to make your page look more aesthetic is by creating and resizing columns. Adding columns to your page makes things look more interesting and adds variety. What you'll need to do is drag a block by clicking the six dots on the corner of each block. You can then drag it next to another block to create a column. Drag the bar in between the columns to resize it. Another way to create columns is by using the slash command. Simply type slash columns and you can create a layout from two to five columns. First, be sure to check out our full tutorials on how to customize icons in Notion. We'll leave a link in the description. For our Notion resume template, we mainly use basic Notion icons which you can also customize. Click the icon slot to check all of our options. Be sure to check out our pre-designed Notion optimized Notion cover pages and choose the best that fits your needs. To change the cover page, simply click add cover, change cover, and either upload your photo or use a link that you have. To make sure that the layout is not changed when you want to add a new section, make sure to choose the blocks and duplicate them. For example, if you want to add more work experience, duplicate the previous blocks rather than the text, the duplicated section will appear right below. If you want to share your Notion resume or CV publicly, go to the share button and turn on share to web. Click show link options and customize the settings according to your needs. Turn on allow editing and allow comments if you want your friends, mentors, or colleagues to edit and comment on your drafts. If it is your final version that you want to publish online, make sure to turn off these two functions. Turn off allow duplicate as templates unless you want your friends, mentors, or colleagues to have the same template that they can use later. 
However, we believe each CV should be personally customized, so we do not recommend to turn on this function. When you're ready, click copy web link and post online. If you're on a plus plan, you can register for your own domain name and link as a search engine index. If you want to turn this resume or CV into a fully functioning website, there are various tools that can help you create a landing page based on a Notion site. We will introduce these tools later. Having a PDF version of your resume is almost a compulsory requirement for any job application. Did you know that you can export a PDF version right from your Notion resume template? Simply follow these steps to export your resume. Go to the three dots on the top right of the page. Click Export. Choose Export Format as PDF. Choose Page Format. We recommend A4 size. Choose Scale Percent. This is up to your resume content. Sometimes the scale percent will go down to 50 to 60% to fit all content in a one-page resume. On the other hand, if you have a lot of work experience, projects, education, content, and skills, and the company accepts a two-page resume, adjust the scale percentage accordingly. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about how to build your resume or CV through Notion. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Subscribe to us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.